I am not offended by the Redskins name. Okay? I and and I I really want you to really kind of think about this, okay? I'm not offended by the Redskins name. I really I'm really not. But why would I be? I'm not an Indian guy. I'm not a Native American. Why would I be offended by the Redskins name? I'm an Italian guy. My family came here in like the 30s. My mom's uh, my mom's side is uh, English. I pff, Why do I care? Right? So at, at that point, immediately when I realized that, other than me just wanting this the name because it's been my whole life and I don't want change because I'm because I hate change, which is like 50 percent of people in the world just don't like change. Right. There's the guy, the people who like change or the people who hate change, they like everything the same and the people who want to change everything all the time. Right. Neither one of them work, right? We kind of, there's like a balance there. You have to kind of know when to change things and know when to keep things the same. But the world, once again, is split up just like political parties. It was a bunch of extremists running around everywhere, right? (laughs) So my whole thing is, listen, I'm not offending by the Redskins. I could care less because it's not about me. Why would I care? But that's the point. (laughs) It's none of my business, right? It's none of my business. If Native Americans are pissed off because the term Redskins is on there and they found that as a derogatory term that was used uh, against them in an era where they were murdered by the millions. If they don't like it for that reason, who am I to say screw you? We want it. It's embarrassing to me every time I see a white guy that's just like, we want Redskins. We want Redskins. I'm like, dude, I, I kind of duck a little bit and put my hand over my face. I'm, 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 a little, I'm a little embarrassed for us. Like, you're kind of making us look bad, man. You know? I mean, what, you know, it's, it's like if the team was called the Denver Wetbacks, right? And we had a bunch of white people saying, we don't care if Mexicans don't like this. This has been our team name for 30 years. It doesn't mean that anymore. And that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? That would that would be embarrassing. That would be embarrassing, right? Right? And you know what's hilarious? Let me tell you something that's really hilarious. Is that the radio stations don't, won't even want you to use other slurs as a comparison to the Redskins. Because you're not allowed to say those. You're only allowed to say Redskins. But guess what? You know what's hilarious, guys? Is that Native Americans, some Native Americans find that term just as derogatory as the one that I just used. That's how ignorant we are. That's how ignorant we are. As a public, ladies and gentlemen, I, there's really nothing that you can tell me, unless you're a Native American saying, listen, we take pride in that or we don't want, you know, we, we have no problem with it. I don't, if no one has a problem with it, I don't care. But people obviously have a problem with it, guys. People have a, obviously have a problem with it. If someone has a problem with it, millions of people have a problem with it, then change it. That's how it works, Okay. When you name something something in the ignorant stage of our of our country, and there was a very, you know, th- there was an ignorant stage. Now this is a progressive part, the part of our country's history, right? And this is where the slippery slopes are, right? This is where guys get fired for for for, you know, having saying things on private conversations, and guys get fined for tweeting opinions. This is like this is the slippery slope part of it. We've got to get through this part. This is the ugly part, right? I, 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 I guess I don't understand. And I haven't had somebody give me enough evidence to make me think otherwise. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm not saying I want this changed because I, I'm not that passionate about it. I'm really not. I'm just being honest. I'm sorry. I'm not that passionate about it, guys. I'm sorry that I'm not, but I understand where you're coming from. I'm giving you my independent uh, opinion here, right? I'm not going to give you this fake passion about the Redskins name. I can't believe they still have it and all this stuff so I can throw a temper tantrum on social media because I don't really care. But I understand 
the problem. I understand why Native Americans don't like this. And so I say, it's very simple. Change it then. Why are we fighting for it? Are you going to lose money because of it? Are you going to lose revenue because of it? You keep the same logo. Just don't call him a redskin and have an, an, an Indian guy on the helmet. And, and, and the, one more thing. For those of you who are comparing the Indians and the Chiefs to the term Redskins or the Seminoles to the term Redskins, <laughs> what are you, are you like, are, are, are you like smoking meth in a bathroom or something? I, I, like, you know, are you doing, are you on LSD or something? Like what, you know, what, what part of this do you not understand? I, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure here. What part of this looks like a derogatory racial slur that was created as a very demeaning term towards Native Americans? What part of that do you not understand in compared to chief, which is the leader or warriors, which described the military of the Indians, so to speak, or braves, which is, describes brave men? Like, what part of, uh, of those aren't compared to the term Redskins do you not understand? Like, are you really, are you really, have you really lost that much upstairs? We really got to kick in. We really got to get this stuff in gear, guys. We really got to get this stuff in gear. I, I, I don't understand where you guys come from. You know, I respect your opinion. I really do. If you want to fight for the Redskins name and you want to keep it like that, even if it offends people, that's, that, that's your opinion. You know what? You get to have your opinion. It doesn't make you a bad person. It really doesn't. Especially in this particular issue, because like many of us growing up, I never knew Redskin was a derogatory term. Most of us didn't. But I find it very funny that a league that is trying to outlaw the N-word on the field and in the locker room is okay with the term Redskin when everybody else seems to be completely infuriated over it. I'll tell you this, guys. I bet you if there was more Native Americans in the league and in the uh, players' union and in the fr- in the league office, I bet you that the term would be changed. But you want to know what the problem is, guys? There's no representation for Native Americans. So it's very difficult. Now other races are starting to back it, and that's what's changing it. Now black people and white people are starting to say, hey, we don't like this too. Now it's starting to get going. But the Native Americans never had any representation. I'll tell you this. I know, and I grew up and went to high school with a guy, a Native American guy that actually moved back to his hometown and is very, very a part of that community. And I can tell you right now that he's disgusted by the term. Now, back in high school, I kicked it off and said, eh, you know, whatever, Beach. His name is BJ. Good guy. Good cat. Still is. But... Once again, I can tell you, my, my, my family probably wouldn't be real excited for the New Jersey Guidos to be running around out there. And if they had an issue, I would back that. There's my opinion. <laughs>